So I am here today with a fabulous Dollar Tree haul. I cannot wait to share the brand new finds that I picked up at the Dollar Tree just today. Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome. So if you like Dollar Tree content, you are at the right place because I am obsessed with the Dollar Tree. I live, eat, breathe Dollar Tree. Um, you name it, if you can find it at the Dollar Tree, I'll find it, share it with you. So we're going to jump right into this new Dollar Tree haul. I hope you'll join me. What do you say? Let's go. I have such a mishmash of stuff, guys. I don't know where to start. So I guess the first things I'm going to show you are a few of the Halloween things. I mean, look at this set of pot holders. Is that just too adorable? You get two of these. The back is solid purple, and it says, Trick or Treating with my Nomies. I thought these were absolutely the sweetest thing for anybody that is gnome obsessed. So I picked these up for one of my friends. I just love them. And then the next things I picked up because I can't get enough of the paper goods at the Dollar Tree. And um, sometimes, I don't know, I want to say, I don't know if lazy is the right word. I just want to be able to keep things simple. That's a better word. Simple, not lazy. So I want to use paper plates. What it boils down to is I want to use paper plates when I can. So I picked up this set. I just love the haunted house. You get 18 paper plates in here. I mean, just look at how sweet that is and the witch silhouette against the full moon. So $1.25, I picked those up. And then I thought these napkins kind of went with them. How fun is this? Very kid-friendly monsters. And again, you have the witch flying against the full moon. And you get 24 in here. So I thought that was kind of a fun little set. So I look forward to using these because, hey, I'm a kid at heart. And especially when the holidays come, I am definitely a kid. All right, now this next item I picked up, I could not believe I found this. Was I ever excited? Look at it. It's the gumball machine, but it is the pumpkin one. So this is not Halloween. No jack-o'-lantern face on it or anything. So I really appreciate that they left off a jack-o'-lantern face so that it's just the straight pumpkin. And this is just like the ones they had out at... Um, Easter, the bunny head ones, the egg shaped ones. This is the same size, same size hole dispenser there. So I know the little um, Skittles candy works in this, and of course, nerds do too. But really sweet. I mean, these actually work. My grands are obsessed with these little gumball machines. Um, so I was so happy to find this. But again, if you are watching your sugars and don't even want to put candy in it, you could just, you know, stuff paper shred in there, whatever you want. Leave it empty, you know, and just use it as a piece of decor because it is super sweet just on its own. All right. And of course, I grabbed another set of napkins. Now, I'm not positive guys if these are a repeat purchase or not I don't think I have picked this set up before but I'm starting to lose my mind or who am I kidding I lost it long ago but look at these gorgeous napkins and these are 13 by 13 in size isn't that funny I mean are they really because these they say are 12.75 so I guess maybe so I Oh, no, no, they all say 13 by 13. Never mind. See, I've lost my mind. 13 by 13, and I love the black crow. There's the poison bottle, little um, 
spider web up here in the corner with a creepy spider in it but you get 24 and these are definitely um, some like pattern that you would see at home goods marshall's tj maxx any place like that they have a really high end decor look to them so these would be great to make some of your own signs and things decoupage stuff um these on a the like reverse side of a glass bowl or a plate you could make a really fun like little dish to put your keys in if you have an entrance way i have all these ideas for people that live in very grand houses i do not live in a grand house i don't have a fancy entryway or a place to put a dish for my keys but if i did i have lots of ideas on how to create those things but i still find plenty of places to use decor so don't get me wrong i am very blessed and happy to have a roof over my head that is for sure but i just loved the pattern on these so of course i picked them up and these i got because i don't really know why they are party favors they're syringes now when bill was on home hemodialysis we had cases of these syringes that were you know real medical grade <laughs> syringes i used to say if anybody broke in and like found all this stuff oh my gosh for like a, talk about using things for a haunted house but it was real stuff but in any case i digress these are by greenbrier you get four of them now i was trying to see if i could find any place on it about it being food safe it does say to wash before using but it doesn't talk about food because what i was thinking would be how fun to put some like red juice in these and then give my grands a glass of like green hawaiian punch and then they could squirt this into it and make like a monster potion for halloween so i gotta do a little research and find out if they're safe for food but i did pick those up so i just grabbed this one four pack oh now these next finds these are a bill find look at this werther's these are the maple cream though soft caramels harvest caramels maple cream so i think it's probably been about a week ago that i shared the pumpkin spice ones and the um, apple ones well now we found maple cream so how could we not get them so autumnal i feel like and you get two point 22 ounces in here and it says it's a soft and creamy caramel outside with delicious maple cream inside so that sounds scrumptious and it says there's approximately 10 pieces in here and you get to have five pieces uh for one serving 160 calories so you could scoff down this whole bag for 300 calories so not the end of the world if you're having a candy fit so we picked those up and then this is a product i have never seen or heard of and bill found to this the brand is crown home style candy gluten-free caramel coconut tips look at those do you see the texture of the coconut on there and i can tell you this is like a hefty bag there's a lot of weight to this now you get 12 pieces in here the best buy date is may 2023 and crown candy corporation made in the usa they say they've been making candy since 1924 and they are in macon georgia so i was really excited when i saw bill show me this so i'm glad he picked it up we wanted to get it hauled so that we can dig into it and taste it and the next treat of course that we grabbed oh this looked so good sweet chaos drizzled popcorn but it's candy corn flavored i thought that looks so yummy non-gmo popcorn manufactured by kenny's candy and confections 
and they are out of Purim, Minnesota, made in the USA. So if any of you had tried it, I would love to know your thoughts on it. Does it taste like candy corn? I'm hoping that it does because I happen to love candy corn. That's everything I have to share for today. I, of course, have some fabulous viewer friend photos that I'm going to add right now. This project is open to everybody. I will include my email at the end here. And then all you have to do is send me off some JPEGs of your decor, your DIYs, your pets, whatever you want to share so that I can share it with all of us. And remember, my friends, until next time, please be well.